guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really, really excited because I have a drugstore foundation that I wanna try out for you guys. Now, a lot of these type of foundations have been booming lately, and this is the very first one that I have found at the drugstore similar to the very higher end ones that I've been seeing out um, in stores. So the L'Oreal True Match Illumi Cushion and the packaging looks like this. The packaging is very cute. It's a little bit bulky so I don't know how I feel about that but I mean if the foundation itself is a great product then I really don't mind as long as it works amazing, right? Alright, so the color that I picked up is N4. One of the things that I do want to say is that this foundation has only 12 shades. So that's kind of an issue for me because I do have issues finding foundations that match my skin tone. This is the only one that I found at my drugstore that would be more closer to my color, so I'm really hoping that it is my color. Although I have a feeling that it's gonna be a little bit dark since it is winter and my skin is just really white as you can tell. I do want to say that there's a lot of other higher end foundations out there that are similar to this foundation. MAC makes one that's called Matchmaster and I think it's like $36 if I'm not wrong. There's another one by Chanel which is $60 guys that's crazy. I think that the one by Chanel is called the Aqua Lumiere Hydrating Cream and that one is the one that I'm saying it's $60. The one by Lancome is called the Miracle Cushion I want to saying I think it's $47 so that's still pretty high and then there's one by Amour Pacific if that's how you say the brand and that one ranges I think it's like $57 to $60 as well that one's called the color control cushion those are all expensive those are a few that I kind of did some research on and I kind of just found out that they're really really similar to this one so I mean this one only being $17 I mean if it's great then why not buy this one and as opposed to the more expensive ones so this is what i'm going to try out for you guys at the moment i am not wearing any foundation as you could already tell no foundation i'm just wearing some um of my carrie grand lip look that i always use and yeah so if you guys want to see what this looks like then go ahead and just keep watching all right so i'm going to open it for the very first time and i don't know what it looks like I've seen it before at the drugstore, but I never got to mess around. They didn't have a tester that I could play with, so I didn't actually get to test how it was, or like how it felt, the way it looked. So this is the very first time I'm opening it. So I'm just gonna open it right in front of you guys. Did I already say that the color is N4 Buff Beige? And let's see if it's my color. All right, this is pretty cool. It has a big mirror, which is awesome. It's pretty big. And ooh, guys, this looks very luxurious. Comes with a little sponge like this applicator that has uh, L'Oreal imprinted on it right there. It kind of reminds me of the long comb, like something the long comb would look like. And then the applicator is not that normal, what you're typically used to. You know, those sponges that look like this, that that material, this is not like that. This is very like spongy, so I think that's really cool. And then when you open it, it just has a white plastic cover that covers it. I'm assuming that this is to kind of keep it hydrated and protected. So that's what it's covered by. And then once you open it, oh, okay. So then it's it's a uh, it's very well shut, and they have just a little L'Oreal sticker on it. Wow. And this is what it looks like, guys. You can tell that's what the foundation looks like. This foundation claims to give you a luminous buildable coverage, so we will see about that. It says that if you tap it once, it gives you a sheer coverage. If you tap it twice, it will give you a light coverage, and then if you go in and tap it three times, it's supposed to give you a medium coverage. So I typically like medium coverage, and as you can tell, I have some breakout scars. Um, going on right now, so I definitely would want something more medium coverage. So let's go ahead and try it. I kind of want to try half of my face with the beauty blender and then half of my face with the sponge. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It is currently 153. I don't know if you can tell. So we're going to go ahead and see how long it lasts. So I'm just going to take a little clip and pull my hair back and then I guess I will go in with the clean beauty blender 
don't know guys, I'm kind of worried. It might not even be my shade, who knows, let's see. Since it said that three taps will give you the medium coverage, I'm gonna go ahead and try it with the sponge on this side first. So one, wow, that was one, one dab, guys. It does pick up a lot of product. So one, it's kind of hard to grip onto this since I'm not used to using one of these things. So three. All right, so I've already tapped it three times in this little thing, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying. Gosh, guys, it might be my color. It's kind of hard to use this little thing because I'm not used to it. So, um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. But so far, guys, the coverage, I mean, it covered up pretty well that little spot blemish that I had right there on my cheek. So that's pretty cool. And you guys, I didn't prime my face because I wanted to try this without a primer and see how it works on its own. Guys, I feel like it's pretty good on the shade. I was afraid that it wasn't going to match my skin, but so far I think it's not bad. So, well, at least I can't tell that the color difference is really bad or anything. It does look loomy, but that is what the coverage is. It's medium, it's light to medium coverage with luminescence, since it does say lumi on there. So if you are an oily person, and if you don't like this luminous glow, then you probably won't like this foundation. But during the winter months, my skin is definitely a lot drier. So I figured that I would try this one out for you guys. All right, so there it is. You could definitely tell I have foundation on this half of my face. And let's see, I wanna touch it. So I'm gonna quickly dab it. You guys, I barely touched it and it picked up a lot of product. And it feels very, very thin, very lightweight. And it just feels really nice, actually. Yeah, it just feels like liquid. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now moving on to my other side of the face with the Beauty Blender. Wow, that was the first step to and let's just start fine it definitely picked up a lot more with the beauty blender guys whoa yeah so maybe two dabs would be better with the beauty blender because I feel like I have a lot of product on so I guess if you want a more full coverage what am I gonna do? I should have tried one dab and then gone in. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the other side and blend it in because I think I applied a little too much. So there we go. Here is um, this side with this sponge. And then this side with this sponge and you guys could tell definitely tell that the beauty blender gives you more coverage so I think I like the beauty blender better plus it's easier to control so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face with the beauty blender but just I just tried the other sponge out just so you guys kind of get an idea of like the application and like what my first initial thought was of that applicator so just gonna go ahead and do the rest. Yeah, cause it even covered some of my, it actually covered my dark circles, it's pretty cool. And I don't think I would wanna add more than three pumps because I feel like the two pumps on the Beauty Blender would have been just right. Cause three was a little too much, to be honest. All right guys, I am done with the foundation. I'm gonna give it a few minutes and kinda just let it sit get rid of some of the tackiness, just let it dry. 
I guess one thing I don't like about it is that it takes a while for it to set into your skin and I don't want I hate foundations that take forever to kind of set because usually I'm in a hurry I have the time limit and I want to just put my makeup on and go Alright, so I've given it already a few minutes to kind of set. I'm just going to feel it. Some of it did transfer onto my fingers, barely, but a little bit was transferred onto my fingers. So I don't know if it was because, see, that much of it transferred onto my fingers. I don't know if it's because I put a little too much on or what or if it's just taking forever to set. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit more time to set so I can give you a more accurate review. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll come back in a few minutes and let you guys know how it is setting. So I have set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I set my face, my under eyes, and actually guys, I really, really like how the foundation looks after I have set it. I, I don't know. It just looks very natural. It doesn't make your skin look like you have a bunch of foundation on. I just, I don't know. I just really, really like it. So that's cool. All right, guys. So it is currently 2.21 and I'm going to go ahead and go throughout my day as I usually would. And then I will come back and check in and just kind of let you guys know what I'm feeling and how I am liking it throughout the day, the longevity of it. And yeah, I will see you guys in a few hours. Bye. Hi guys, so I am back. It has been already, what, seven hours? It is 9.09, .09, so, and honestly guys, I have to say that I have a lot to say about this foundation. First of all, I would not use it with the little sponge that it comes with. I don't really recommend it. I don't feel like it's, I don't like how it applies the foundation and I also don't like how it's so difficult. It may be easy for some of you, but I, it was just kind of hard for me to control it. And I don't know, I just didn't like it. So I definitely would recommend using a beauty blender, but I also want to mention that I don't know if it was because of the beauty blender because it's so moist and the and the foundation alone is already very moist. I don't know if I completely love it with the application of a beauty blender. So I'm going to go ahead and give it another try with just a regular dry foundation brush just to see if I like it better that way. But I do want to say what I love about this foundation is the coverage. Guys, I don't know, you could tell at the beginning of the video how I did have some darker pigmentation from like post acne marks and just from like recent breakouts that I was having and it honestly like it covered it pretty well I mean for it being such a lightweight foundation but also buildable it was able to build up to the point where I was able to hardly even see the blemishes you could probably see the blemishes now I'm not 100% sure because the lights are literally blinding me um but overall, I want to rate this foundation a 7 out of a 10. Reason being because I don't feel like I'm completely in love with it. I don't feel like this is a foundation that's going to be like on my top list. So that's why I'm giving it a 7 star. Now 7 star isn't bad. If you are someone that has super, super dry skin, I feel like you, you would really benefit from this because it's going to give you that moisture, that luminosity that you're looking for. But if you are someone like me that has a little bit more combination and dry skin during winter months but combination and oily skin throughout the rest of the year honestly i don't think this is going to be something that you are going to love but i mean it's always good to try it out I, like i said i'm going to go ahead and try it out with just a regular brush and see if i like it better that way overall i like that it matched my skin tone pretty well so i think that was awesome my face might look a little bit whiter than my, the rest of my body and that is simply because of the fact that i have all these bright lights just shining on my face so obviously my face is going to be a lot more brighter and glowier um i did if you see all that glow going on I did go a little bit overboard with my highlighter today but overall guys I mean it's not a bad foundation I have been wearing it for seven hours like I said and it really hasn't moved 
I actually hasn't moved at all really I did lose some of the color underneath my nose just because my nose has just been running and so I've been just touching my nose and just cleaning it and so yeah throughout the day I did not set it once the only time that I said it was on camera when I showed you guys so I mean overall yeah it did get really oily around the nose but that's typical um, for foundations on my skin but overall guys I I like it I don't love it but I like it so I guess that's a good thing I mean right I mean if I hated it then that would definitely not be a good thing but I don't know I was just amazed at the coverage that's really what amazed me and it's just a really unique little um, compact I've never used anything like this and now I'm kind of curious to go purchase one of those expensive ones but I don't know I'm probably just gonna keep using the rest of this and just try to experiment with it and see if there's a different way that I like it more if you guys have already tried this and you found a technique or a way that you apply it and you love it please let me know in the comment box down below and yeah guys that is it as always i will talk to you guys all later peace and love bye Mwah.